What is going on everyone? Welcome back, bienvenidos, join the family, hit that subscribe button. Today I am bringing you, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Today I'm bringing you another beauty tip, makeup tip, pro makeup tip. Um, I haven't decided what I'm gonna call this video series. It used to be Quick Tip Tuesday. It was also a pro makeup tip series. I just like sharing any sort of makeup tip, trick, hack that is going to help you improve your makeup skills in a quick and efficient way. Today, I'm gonna to be discussing this eyeshadow application. You may have noticed that I tend to apply my eyeshadow exactly the same every time. Um, that is because I find it to be the most flattering way to apply eyeshadow. So let's get into it. Okay, I have already prepped my eyelids with a bit of concealer. I used the Forever Skin Corrector from Dior. I'm gonna be using the Smoky Soiree eyeshadow palette from Dose of Colors. This is the kind of brush I recommend. Fluffy, pinched at the base, so it's semi-flat, but still blendable. I'm gonna start with this super dark chocolatey brown right here. I know it looks intimidating, but we're gonna really blend it out. I'm gonna start by looking straight on into the mirror, not to the lens, to the mirror. And with my eyes open, I'm gonna map out the outer wing. And I like it to go higher, not directly in the crease, so I like to start right here. And then once I have that as a guideline, I'm gonna go in with a little more, with my eyes closed, and have this shadow meet that point. And keep on blending above as well. If you need to switch to a clean brush to get more of a blend, feel free to do so. I'm using a Smith 232 to just really diffuse this out, smoke it out. Now, as you blend inward, you don't want to go all the way like you traditionally would when applying an eyeshadow to the crease. I think we're used to starting at the crease and then going all the way in, all the way out in windshield wiper motions. I am stopping about, eh, I would say like a third of the way right here because this is kind of like, I probably already said it in the intro, kind of like a faux spotlight eye that I believe is just Using a smaller brush, this is a super old one from Morphe that I've had for years now, an M213. I'm gonna pick up that same brown eyeshadow and I'm gonna tuck it right in here. The smallest amount, a normal spotlight eye, you would take it all the way here and leave just this little empty window with no eyeshadow for the spotlight. For this technique, you're just packing it on to this tiny little portion of the eye, just like that. And then going back to that first brush, I'm gonna lightly diffuse this out, keeping the color in the same spot, but just further blending it up, but keeping it super, super dark right there. And I want you to really notice that I applied no eyeshadow to the crease. Again, we're used to completely filling in the crease, no matter what eyeshadow look it is that we're doing. With this technique, you leave the crease completely free of eyeshadow, as well as this center portion. Now I'm gonna add the shimmer, and for this I'm just using a flatter brush. This is a contour shadow brush from Smashbox. I'm gonna pick up the shadow. I'm gonna mist it with Smashbox setting spray. I just really like this for its staying power. Give a little mist. Anything with shimmer I like to mist because it's way more dramatic when you apply it. And I'm gonna pack that on to the center. Also to that blank area with no eyeshadow in the crease. I know, shimmer in the crease, it sounds so scary, but trust, it looks beautiful. And you just get this like really almost, I don't wanna call it grungy, but to me, there's something so sultry about this shadow placement, the darker inner corner, the shimmer shadow that is in the crease, which is very unusual. I think um, we tend to think that shimmers can't go in the crease, but when you do this, the effect, the final result is so flattering. Okay, I'm gonna do the other side. <laughs> and then for a little more definition, I'm just gonna deepen up this outer corner with that same color, the dark brown. I think the inner corner still looks really good, so this is all I'm gonna do for up top, actually, live. I'm lying to you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna add a smidge of the black eyeshadow along the lash line, just on the outer corner, so I'll show you guys. 
just right here. Just for a little more added definition. Okay, I got my face up to speed, almost done. I have the Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation on, Fenty Cheeks Out Cream Bronzer 03 Macchiato, um, as well as the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder to set my under eyes so that I can show you the lower lash line. So same palette. The only thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take this small brush. You can also use like a pencil brush. I'm gonna pick up the dark brown shadow. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the lower lash line. I'm going to apply it to about a third of the way and then leave this quarter right here with no eyeshadow. So stopping right about here and making sure it connects to this line of eyeshadow. The trick with getting away with just using one eyeshadow is to pack it on, buff it out, then go back in and add some more for dimension. So in this case, I could either go in with the black, which I feel like for the lower lash I might be a little much. Um, so instead, I'm gonna take that tiny Morphe brush from earlier. I'm gonna pick up the dark brown on the very tip of this brush and just reapply it closest to the lash line. So I'm just packing it on and I'm not gonna further blend this out. I'm just gonna leave it like that to create that bit of dimension. So if you've ever gotten an eyeshadow palette and you feel like something like this, if you get an eyeshadow palette like this and you're like, there's no transition shades, you don't need a transition shade, you just gotta really, really blend it out, pack it back on, blend it out until you get the depth that you want, like so. I'm using the House Labs Identify Gel Pencil Eyeliner in the shade Statuesque, which is a somewhat of a shimmery brown, which I think goes really well with the shimmer on the lids, doesn't leave it looking flat. And I'm gonna add that to the upper and lower waterline. Oh, I'm just joking. I have to finish this inner, like, what am I talking about? I'm not done with the eyes yet. We gotta finish this inner corner. So we'll go back to that after I add the liner. Okay, so to complement the shadow up top, I'm gonna take that same shimmery shadow on a tiny pencil brush. I'm gonna give it a mist again. I'm gonna apply that to this inner quarter of the eye and blend it into the matte shadow. So similar to how I sprinkled the leftover shadow onto the brow bone, I'm going to sprinkle this shadow over the matte shadow about halfway, no further than that. I just love it so much. I hope you guys try out this technique for your shadow and tell me if it changes the way your eyeshadow looks. And if you like it more, better, hate it, love it, let me know. <laughs> That is a wrap on today's video. I hope you learned something new. I really want these videos in particular to be straight to the point so that you guys can get in and out and become better artists with this quick tip of mine. So don't forget to give this video a like, share it with anyone who could use a helpful tip and a quick video to watch, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.